welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to change our on hovered item system a little bit right now if we hover over an item we can see that it says click to use but if we pick up a lot of items and let's say we go down if we hover over an item it says click to use but once we unhover this it goes back to the top because we are resetting the inventory all the time so we can't really scroll down that well and also we are going to create so that this whole thing looks a little bit nicer in general so let's begin and I will begin by opening my item info and in the graph I will delete these hover and unhover events because we no longer need them so that's that and the next thing in the UI folder I'm going to add another widget blueprint which is going to be our tooltip and I'm gonna call this UI item tooltip and inside of here I'm going to add a border I will anchor this to the middle and let's say let's make this like 400 X and 300Y, like so. And let's align this to the middle. So minus 200, minus 150. And it's in the middle. And what I've also done is I have imported an image that looks like this, an old page. You can choose whatever image you like and I will put this in the background so that this would look nicer. So I'm gonna select the border and I'm gonna change the appearance image. So old page, there we go. And now inside of this border, I will add a vertical box. This is set to fill. And inside of here, I'm gonna do a horizontal box. And I'm going to add a text field, like so. And I'm going to make sure that this is set to align middle in the horizontal axis and now I will duplicate this once twice four times and for the first horizontal box I will also add an image which is going to be our item icon so now I'm gonna begin by renaming renaming things so this is going to be the item icon and I will make sure that this is set to is variable. The next one is going to be item name. So I'm going to call this item name. The text level type name, but it's not important. And I'm also going to set this to is variable. Now in the next field, I'm going to make sure that this is set to fill. Uh, actually, I need to select the horizontal box and set this to fill like so. And for the text, I will rename this to item description. So I'm going to type description in here. And I will make this smaller, let's say like 14 pixels, seems good enough. And also for the uh, description, I will change the, f where it is, there it is, color and opacity to black, like so. And also this needs to be set to is variable. In the next text, I'm gonna make this empty in the content because we will show it sometimes and sometimes we will not. And I will rename this to item value. Set this to is variable. And the last text also, I will make this empty in the content. And this is going to be what happened? Oh, there we go. Click to use and also set to is variable. So now I will go to the graph and I will leave only the event construct. And I will add a new variable, which I'm going to call item data. And this is going to have a S inventory structure type. And I will make this instance editable and exposed on spawn. So now let's set a couple of values in here. So I will add the item data. 
I will break the result and now I will set my text fields. So I will drag in the item name and I'm going to type set text and we are going to set this to name. There we go. The next one is item description. Again, set text. Description. And the last one for now is going to be our item icon. We're going to set brush from texture. And connect our break results icon to the texture. A small reroute. There we go. So compile and save. And now let's display this. How do we do that is by going back to our item, uh, item info where we have our button. Let's select our item button in the designer. And here in the behavior, uh, here you will have this show advanced, hide advanced. We need this tooltip widget and we need to create a binding. And in here, this is super simple. All we got to do is create a widget. And for me, the widget was item tooltip. Since we exposed a variable, here we have it and we can add our item data and the return value goes inside of the return node. Compile and save. Now let's test this out. Let's pick up a few items. And if we press I and hover over an item, we can see that we have our items. Well, let's pick up something with an icon. And there we go. We also have an icon. So we can make these uh, bigger sizes, smaller sizes for the text it depends on what you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the icon bigger to 64 by 64. And I will align the text to the vertical middle like so. And I will make this actually like 28 pixels a bit bigger. So that's it for this. And now let's add the other infos. So now back in the item tooltip in the event graph, I will do a switch on string and to make this a bit shorter so I don't have to pull so long uh, strings um, routes I will drag in another item data I will break this whoops break this and use the type like so and I will add pins for all of the types we have so we have food health water, stamina, weapon, and we also had helmet, armor, pants, and boots. So there we go. And now I will drag in the item name and I will set color Um, regular one set color and opacity first I will connect this to the food I will split the pen and I will color this in the color I want this to be for the food I want this to be a little bit darker green like so and I will copy this a couple of times so we need one for health water stamina and my weapons and equipment will gonna have the same color. So the next one is health. Health I will make dark red. Water will be blue. Then we have stamina, which I'm gonna make orange. Like so. And now we have helmet, armor, weapon, pants, and boots. And I will recolor these all red. 
like so. So now we need to connect the item name to the targets. And now if we compile and save, go to the game, pick up a few items, we can see that the names are changing colors depending on the type that we have set. There we go. So what I will do now is I will set the value. So how I'm going to do that is I will drag in the item value and I will do a set text and I will right click and I will do append a string and I will do this like so I will drag in the item data I will split this like so and I will connect the A to the type and in the B I will do a space um, two dots I don't know how is it called and another space and in the C I will put in the value and I will connect this to set text like so and let me show you why. Let's connect the food, medicine, water and stamina. Let's press compile, compile and save. Press play. And now let's pick up those items that we mentioned. So for these we have nothing but if we go over to our water and stamina well it's very very white and but there is a text that says water 30 stamina 30 health 50 and for the carrot it's food 20 so those are the values that we are going to restore so that our items uh, tooltip would show us that but the color was not the best pick so I will go back to the designer select the item value text and I will change this color to black. And for the click to use, I will change the color to red, maybe. Yeah, seems good. Let's leave this at red. We could actually change the colors the same way we did over here, but I'm not going to do that. So the next thing what I'm going to do is now I need to set the same value thing for our weapon and other equipables. So I'm going to drag in the item value. And I will do this on the side a bit and I will do set text. I will do the append. Add another pin. And I will do the, for the weapon it's going to be attack. And I will connect these and I will duplicate this whole thing like so connect the target and this is going to be defense like so so what I might do here actually is I will disconnect the weapon I will do a reroute connect all of the pins inside of this reroute like so and also I might actually drag these back to give me some more space and I could drag these in like so so I will connect the equipables to the bottom set text which sets the defense and the top one I will set to weapon and now this is going to go in our set color at the bottom one because I have the same color for the weapons and for the armors so I'm going to move this down a bit and for the C again we need to go to our value and over here we can just connect both of these like so so it should look something like this so now let's compile and save, press play, 
pick up a few items and now you can see that we have this attack, defense, health, stamina, water and all the other data. So now one last thing I will drag in this click to use and I will set text and inside of here I'm just going to type with my hand click to use and I will connect this last one and also this set text from the item value over here like so which means that all of these items that are usable will have this text of click to use so now if we select our items let's pick all of them all the different types there you go we have all of our infos like we need them to be so that's going to be it for this tutorial adjust this to your likings to the sizes you want colors you want and uh, yeah thanks for watching see you guys in the next video